out anyway and it's dark besides yeah, it's pretty tough well we got us a pretty good snow and wind going on here it's crazy I got my Osni cloak on underneath this poncho Well, I decided to uh, leave you up for a moment here against this tree. Uh, the wind's been really, really gusting pretty heavy here. Just been hiking around, exploring a little bit. Now, usually you're thinking of a poncho as rain protection. And, uh, you know, <laughs> we find, well, I don't know. Personally, personally, I probably use my poncho more as a wind protection and a rain protection. But the nice thing is, you know, you feel the pressure of the wind, but the wind can't blow through this thing. In this kind of wind, it actually would be better to have a heavier one. Like if I put on my, like a HD poncho in this wind, see this one kind of blows around a little, you notice that. It makes a tremendous difference. Well, this Osni does pretty good with the wind, but this kind of wind here, I mean, you know, there's, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it, you know. So, throwing a punch over the top zeroes out the wind, and when you do that, then you're feeling the effect, the full effect of the, of the uh, insulating value of the Osni cloak with that apex insulation in it. It's amazing how nice and comfortable it is just to just to sit here a little bit. You know, you get all snowed on and stuff like that, but you know, it feels, feels pretty good. I'm comfortable, I'm warm, and uh, I'm down out of the wind a little bit here, so that's nice. Still comfortable, continue to sit here and just relax, just uh, just kind of a seated bivy in place. Part of the concept of our poncho from the beginning was to uh, make the, the poncho and the accessories so you could kind of be wearing your shelters. Now these, uh, these, ultralight, these ultralight ponchos are nice, you know, because they're compact and super light. But like I was telling you and showing you in the wind, they really blow around. Because the wind really is a factor. And uh, it blows around so much more. Now the HD ponchos, those things are fabulous. Like in a condition like this, HD poncho is fabulous out here. Because it's heavy enough, it doesn't, it doesn't get blown around as much. Well, there's that wind kicking up again. <laughs> oh wow. The snow will kind of build up on me and I'll turn almost white. Then a wind gust will kick up and psh, blow it all away. <laughs> well yeah we're gusting up again here. But I'll tell you that my Osni cloak is nice and warm and the poncho, any of our ponchos would do this. The poncho helping to block the wind from cutting into the insulation. It's all part of the system. We call it the poncho shelter system. And that's what it's all about is, is being able to wear your shelter, you know. Ponchos are basically 100% windproof. You know, there's on the sides where they snap together is the only spot they could get at you. And you got all that uh, Osni cloak on there. So 
See, sometimes if you don't need to be moving about in this kind of stuff, you can stop and bivy up just with what you got on and uh, take yourself a breather. Is my microphone getting all frosted up? It looks like it is from this side. I just clipped it up there on my... I've never done it before. I clipped it on my brim of my hat. Well, there's my burrow right there. My little temporary bivy did the trick for me. Yeah, we're in kind of a storm here a little bit. So now I got the uh, Ripstop HD poncho on over top of my Osni. <laughs> so in heavier weather, it's nice to have a... <laughs> oh my gosh. In heavier weather, it's nice to have a, a heavier poncho. It's nice to have a HD or a ripstop HD like this one. This does really well in the heavy weather. It's all fun. You got to dress, you got to dress however you can for whatever weather you're in. Try to make the most of it.